Today I want to share with you a new tool that makes it so easy to write your titles and meta descriptions and know exactly what they're going to look like on the Google SERPs. So if you don't know, SERP stands for Search Engine Result Page. And this tool is going to emulate or simulate what a Google SERP looks like. And you can get to this tool by going to fuelyourphotos.com slash SERP dash check. That's just a short link that redirects to this Mangles tool. You could also just go to mangles.com slash free SEO tool slash SERP simulator or look at their free SEO tools link in their main navigation. But once you get here, you'll find a tool that you might say, hey, there's other things like this. I've seen this before. You've even recommended things like this before. And that's all true, but this is by far the best SERP simulator I have ever come across. It's got lots of features and it's got a great interface that is going to make this process so much easier. It's got so many things that I've always wanted to see in a SERP simulator and I've wondered why no one has done it. And thankfully, Mangles has come along and done exactly what I was looking for. So let's dig in and use this tool and I'm gonna show you what it does and how to use it. So basically, uh, you have the ability here to edit your URL, the title, meta description. You can bold keywords. You can uh, add some options here as far as uh, SERP features, a heat map. Uh, that's not a SERP feature, but it's going to uh, give you a heat map of where the eyes are most likely to fall on the words that you have written. Uh, you can add the date, rating, or add SERP features. You can save it as an image. There's a lot of cool things, but there's really... Uh, a few things that I really, really love about this. First of all, whenever you enter a URL, let's go ahead and grab something. Hmm, let's say, I think I had something I was working on earlier. Let's just use this one as an example. All right, so we can just take this URL. Let's go to your, your post or your page that you want to optimize and copy the URL and you can paste it in here. All right, so that's already gonna go ahead and show you a preview of what that may look like. Now, you can press Fetch Data. And when you do, it's going to pull in the title and attempt to pull in the title and meta description. In this case, it didn't pull in the meta description, but that's okay. It automatically pulled in the current title and usually it'll pull the meta description as well. Um, now, if it doesn't pull a meta description, one thing you can do is just come over to the post, use a Chrome extension called Open SEO Stats, and you can go into the page info and copy that meta description. And we'll just go ahead and paste that in here. Or you could copy it from your editor, however you've got that. Just the idea is you can paste in your current um, meta description if you want. All right, so this is really cool that you can just fetch the current data because it's going to let you tweak what you already have even if it's just making small changes instead of rewriting uh, but there's a couple of other things that i also like for one i used to use a separate tool for title capitalization and now you can just click this tool or this button right here and it will automatically put your title in title case now it's not perfect. In my opinion, this is using uh, basically the rule that if it's a word that has three letters or more, it's capitalizing it. And sometimes you may want that to be uh, a little bit different. Like you may not want to capitalize you in this case, or you might not want to capitalize the, so use it how you want. But if you just type it in without capitalizing it properly, this will at least get you close to title case or one version of title case. That's really cool. You don't have to go to another tool to do that. Um, but probably my favorite uh, re uh, favorite feature of this overall is the fact that you can enter a keyword and get the real search results. So I can say wedding planners, Columbia SC and hit enter. And it's going to fetch the actual results for this. And look at that. You can drag your test result around to see like, if I were in position three, how would this look? Would it be um, more likely that I would, this would catch my eye or I would click this versus any of these others. Okay, so that's a really cool feature. You can actually see it already uh, right here. It's not using my meta description. They've pulled or generated their own meta description, interestingly. Um, but this is probably my favorite feature. You can also click mobile right here, and it will, it will simulate a mobile result. Now, one thing I have noticed so far, this tool is brand new. Keep that in mind. So far, I've noticed that there are some issues with the mobile length. So like, for example, uh, you may actually have a little bit more room. So like if I go and add 
something like this to the end of this and I look on mobile, it's going to be cut off. But if I actually looked at it, um, sometimes Google's even adding the extra, um, the business name on mobile, even if you didn't have it in your title, there's this extra room right here on mobile. And so it's not actually using the exact same length as desktop. Mobile usually gives you a little bit more room to play with. That Keeping that in mind, don't use this tool as an exact limit. So like, don't think that just because this turned red or it isn't green anymore, that you absolutely can't use something. If you know what you're doing and you know that it's going to show up on mobile, that's fine. You can still use this to get a good preview of what this is going to look like on desktop and an idea of what it's going to look like on mobile. So that's really cool. Uh, you can also change the location if you want to see results from a different location. Uh, and like I said earlier, you can bold keywords. So if I wanted Columbia wedding planner, uh, those to be bolded, just to kind of get an idea of what that would look like if they were bolded, that's something else you can do. The heat map, I'm not going to get into all of this. This is basically showing you where they have some algorithm that they run on it to show you where they think uh, people, how they would skim this. At least that's my understanding of it. Uh, but yeah, you can also share a link or save as an image if you want to show this to someone um, to get it approved or to have them look and give you their opinion. Uh, but let's go ahead and make a few tweaks here uh, because the real power of this is that you can compare to things that are already ranking and you can say in your, in your mind, would I click this instead of what's here? Now in this case, I, this title that I have is not terrible. Um, I don't know how I feel about the capitalization. I mean, I wrote it, so <laughs> sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. In this case, I do kind of feel like it's yelling a little bit. Also, notice again, the tool is not perfect and in the actual SERP, it's getting truncated right here. So the last, that interview exclamation point, it's um, not getting added. And so we might want to shorten this a little bit so that we can get everything in. So let's just play around. I've already written a couple uh, of options for this. So I'm going to go ahead and paste them in so I don't have to like write this off the top of my head while I'm recording the video. So this might be something like what I would use. So we have the best wedding planners in Columbia SC, a curated list. You can see that's almost definitely going to fit. We can see it's about the same length as this one above it. Um, I personally work with almost every Columbia wedding planner. This is my short list of planners you should interview first. I feel like that's a really strong uh, proposition of value proposition here saying, hey, this isn't just some random list of 124 planners. This is a list of people that I've worked with and I can vouch for them. All right, so let's see if there's anything else we might do to this. So one of the cool things is like I might say, you know, maybe numbers are doing well 124 here 14 here three here maybe you want to add a number to this so i might say would this fit if i said 17 of the best what i don't have i only have six on my list now we're starting to get really uh close to the end and again it's saying that this would fit but it may get truncated so this is something you have to test for yourself but that's about as far as you can push the limits here uh, on desktop so 17 of the best wedding planners see to me that's looking really clickable obviously i don't, don't have 17 i only have six so i need to change that to six but maybe my goal is to add a few more so that i can i can get you know it's 124 i'm not going to have that many but there's 14 here so could i get higher than 14 or maybe it's better that i have fewer because it's a curated list so six is better. I, I always like to have odd numbers for some reason. I, I feel like seven would be better than six, but that's just <laughs> a personal thing that I do with titles. Uh, anyway, the point is, this is a great tool for writing titles and meta descriptions and giving you an idea of what it's going to look like and being able to pull in the live SERP. Like I said, there's a lot of tools out there where you can uh, do this. Even in Yoast, you could just type this and it's going to give you a decent preview of what it's going to look like but being able to see it in line with others and tell whether it's more or less clickable than what's already there and to try to like look at some of these and see are there words that other people are using are they using numbers how what are their meta descriptions like it just makes it so much easier and faster to write your titles and meta descriptions i hope you love the tool let me know if you have any questions or if you have any other tools or suggestions on writing titles and meta descriptions good luck